Let's join two curves or paths into one. For this demonstration we will keep the default cube but put it aside for now. Next we create two different curves as you can see, a circular curve and a Bezier curve. Only for demonstration purposes we connect the cube to the circular curve and let it run along it. The follow path constraint worked as expected. Let's remove it to connect the curves. Both curves must now be converted into meshes in object mode, but watch this video to the end even if you think you have already been informed right now, because there is a little misbehavior in Blender which is good to know. From the circle we cut out a vertex, so we have connecting points. Now we join the meshes into one mesh. The next step is to connect an endpoint on each mesh, so that both meshes are in fact connected into one mesh. As expected, the mesh is now converted back into a curve, but be careful, for some reason it still doesn't work properly. Follow path does not work. After adding the follow path constraint, Convert the curve to a curve again. Now the behavior is how we want it to be.